Look at that little rear end right there. Them Levi's. Yeah. Gotta give me some of those. Yeah. Mm. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to The Walking Dead. My name is Stanky Dan, and I will be your host today. Uh, first, I want to say that I uh, apologize for the delay in the videos. I know it's been a while uh, here and there. Uh, I have been a little bit sick, and I haven't been able to play the games as much as I'd like to. Um, and record but we are back and we are back with the walking dead uh, where we left off last time we found clementine and two dudes bubba and billy bob i don't remember their names but uh i think we're waking up in a barn and uh let's get started Hey, get up. Mm. Oh, I'm itchy. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't Whoa. have spiders in your hair. <gasps> but I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Maybe I'm just see. some guy. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of a fence. There's a tractor and everything. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. <laughs> okay. Dodging or quacking? Quacking. Dad! See? I don't remember the keys. <laughs> the word is you were this on your way bad. to Macon. My family's from there. Well, Macon's on the way, and personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. All right. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan, then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And, uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. That is a very pretty name. Thanks. Well, we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? This is really excited about a fence. Foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! Duck and I will hop to it. Cool. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit. Oh, everybody thinks she's my daughter. I don't look Mexican. All right. Let's see what's going on here. Smack, 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 smack. Mm, I guess I can't do that. Seems like those two are getting along. I already forgot what I'm supposed to be doing. Let's go look at the fence. I can see you. It's a weird little boy. Sean's still working on that fence. <laughs> This dude's very observant. Nothing in there. It's, uh... All right. <laughs> Side glide it up. What in the world am I supposed to be doing? Okay, maybe there's something in the house? No? Can't go there? Alright, I'm lost. Hey there, uh, Kenny. I already, I already did this. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need any help? What do you mean? I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? I don't know, are you defects? I think I've got it handled okay. Long as I keep her safe, I think I'm doing all right. With those things out there, maybe, sure, that's enough. But you gotta ask yourself if you're the type of guy who can do better than that if her parents don't show up. I'll keep that in mind. Yeah, what is your plan, so what's man? what's your family's plan? 
Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. Well, on the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. I'm a commercial fisherman, catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. Hmm, Michelle, hmm. How's your son doing? Good, I think. Katya's got a sister up in Memphis. We were coming back from visiting her. We were in a gas station and some guy grabbed my boy. I thought he was kidnapping him. I was on the fucker in about two seconds and... Christ. Just lucky I was there. We saw a lot of bodies before we stumbled upon Herschel's. But we're a tough family, Lee. Ain't nothing gonna phase us. See you. All right. Bye. No, we can talk, right? Maybe. Look at Kaja. Kaja is good with her. Look at the Clementine. No, maybe not. You having a nice time with Katya Clementine? Yeah. Well, good. I'm glad. Still not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. All right, Sean. You know how to drive it? Sure don't. How and did you, you even know I was there? Of the US Farm Bill, though. I'm good. How are these things to drive? Awesome! Pain in the ass. Hey, yeah. Big, heavy as hell, and slower than, uh... Yes. Alright, duck. Nope. Still the same old thing. All right, dude, you got to be done at some point. You put up like one board. Sean's still working on that fence. You have such pretty hair. It gets lots of tangles. Hey there, girls. Oh. You two actually look relaxed. I think we're doing just fine. Clementine was just telling me about first grade. Oh, uh... How's that? It's easy. Well, yeah. Yeah, when your teacher's so dead, you can do whatever you want. Anyway, it's almost like we didn't see people eating each other for the past three days. It's <laughs> peaceful here, yeah, no? So, uh, what do you do when corpses aren't walking around? I'm a veterinarian back in Fort Lauderdale. Like Herschel here, except in more Fort with dogs Lauderdale. and cats and uh, not horses. What is it that Florida? you do, Lee? I used to teach up at the University of Georgia. We need to hope that we can go back to our jobs soon, Lee. Back to normal. It can't stay like this. No, I used to. I was let go a little while back. That's too bad. Well, I hear people always clamor back to college after a big disaster. People don't want to die ignorant, I guess. <laughs> ignorant. How did you handle getting through the city? Kenny just drove. We passed so many people that needed help, and we just passed people over some. Just, just... Uh, it's okay. It's fine. You don't have to say anymore. I want to go home tomorrow, but even then I can't take away the things we... the things Doc went through. Don't you want to go back to the moment before you knew about all of this? Yes. Anybody in their right mind would. Families and barbecues and beers with good friends. All of those things. Those are the things we live for, right? Those gone, what's the point? Back in a bit. Okay, Lee. Hey, now where do I go? I walk in a circle. It's a circle. Alright, dude, have something for me, man. Little creepy wave. Creepy wave back. 
Look at that little rear end right there. Them Levi's. Yeah. Gotta give me some of those. Yeah. Mm. What do I do? Uh oh. I'm looking do at you. Uh, think this thing will keep him out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. He's been nailing the same board. Do you, uh, this think whole time. this thing will keep him out? Not yet. I'm planning on coming back through on a fortification pass, if you will. We'll lock this place up good. Well, good for you. It's just whatever scraps I could find around the pro- This smooth truck right there, look at him. This lines make it look like it's going fast. These are fast lines. Or maybe them are waves. Like it can float or something. He do got a boat. So maybe that's what it is. Hey, Lee. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to link, that sure speed things up. But you got to tell me the link. <laughs> The My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Was the boy one of the walkers? I don't even know. He was either attacking the guy or asking for help. He didn't even hesitate. Oh, Lord. He just turned, put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes. And pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. They don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Uh... The worst cutter of all times. Bastard. Beat it Goes to death. Whoa. Well, I couldn't do that. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. How about yours? How's your family? Uh, I don't know. Not too close with my family. Uh, well, they weren't in Atlanta, right? So that's good. I didn't tell you if they were That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. You mean you got a whole fence to do? You need three boards? And Sean, be a terrible fence. Thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway, when you see my you dad, around, you might want some help in the barn. I'll go help him in the barn. <laughs> I'll go into the barn. Hey girls, going into the barn. <laughs> hey <old> man. <laughs> Hello. You should know that if you weren't leaving with Kenny today, I wouldn't stand for your lack of honesty last night. Oh yeah, like I'm you sure know me. I'll follow. I ain't dumb. I caught you in that lie last night about who you were with in that car. And honestly, I don't even want to know. How'd you get out of Atlanta? Oh, I'll be honest with you. I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. Hmm. Well, you're no worse for wear. Uh, this farm's a nice plot of land. Huh. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan having a place I like this. I don't know this. what he's... It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Parents? Wives? No, I don't girlfriend? know. My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? 
save my I life. was being attacked and she came to my rescue. Hmm. Can I give you a piece of advice? No. What is it? I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. Oh, when I start checking the attitude... Old man's going to kick my butt! I'll get my gun. Oh, no. You going to die, boy? Kill that dude who ran I'm off okay. with a kid. I'm okay. I can fix you. Don't worry. We'll stitch you up. It, it almost, it almost got me, man. It, they tried to save me. I know, son. I. Bye, bye. Come back here like nothing happened. Get out. Get the fuck out of here! I'm sorry. Sorry? Your son is alive. You don't get to be sorry. You tried to help him, but this piece of shit let him die. <laughs> Yep. It's your fault, Kenny. If Kenny had helped, my son would be alive. And that's why I wish you were dead for the rest of my life. Please, just go. Get out and Good never job, Kenny. come back. Got that ride to make it if you want it. Mm. All right, guys. So, dude's dead. He got eight. You saw what happened. I guess now we're going to find out whether or not we're going to go to Macon or not. I don't know what's going to happen now. Kenny Dunn got dude killed. I'm trying to save Duck. Anyway. Uh, I guess we're going to leave it here and see what happens in the next episode. Uh, I'm going to try and get it up next week. I'm going to do my regular schedule like I planned on doing. Uh... I'm all better now, so it shouldn't be anything holding me up. So uh, let me know what you think. Leave a like or a comment. And if you're new to the channel, leave a subscribe. And uh, until next time, take it easy.